Hello again and welcome to my new speed drawing video. Please excuse me speeding through the background. Um, it took me forever to get the layers and layers and layers to get that background looking the way I wanted to. And it's just not that much fun to watch in time lapse. But if you are interested in seeing how I did that a little bit slower, um, let me know in the comments and I'll make another video showing how I got that suede effect. This piece was inspired by a photo that I took of my pet cockatoo who was squawking in the last video. His name's Woody and he's a fairly recent addition to our household. Um, he has come from a place where he wasn't handled very much so we're still a little bit standoffish and we're still getting to know each other. Um, yeah, he's a funny boy. I managed to capture a series of really awesome photos. Um, cockatoos by nature are really outgoing and curious creatures. So when he saw me with the camera and it was making clicking sounds, he just had to put on a show. He was dancing and the crest was up and he was bobbing and weaving and I just got so many fantastic shots. Um, but when I saw this one, I knew I just had to draw it. I really wanted the main focus of the piece to be on the eye, the beak and the crest. And that was really the only place that I put in a lot of detail. Um, everywhere else I stayed really loose and put in only as much detail as I thought I needed to tell the story. I definitely raised myself some challenges when I chose to draw a white bird. I can't just take a white pencil and colour in the whole thing. Uh, I won't have any shape or form if I do that. So I had to look really close for opportunities where I could reflect some other colours into the white feathers. Like the areas where the yellow is reflecting upon the white and I took an opportunity to bring the blues from the background in as some of the shadow colours. The only pure white area on the bird is on that front crest and on the very tip of his tail. Um, everything else has been done in shades of cool grey, uh, sky blues, um, even Payne's grey and indigo got in there. You wouldn't think you'd use such dark colours on a white bird, but you're just not going to get any form if you don't get in there and really be brave with the dark colours. I really enjoyed drawing his crest. Um, I finally got to pull out my yellow pencils. I so very rarely find an excuse to use them. Because I don't use them very often, I did have a little bit of trouble trying to decide how I was going to put the shadows in. I wasn't sure which colours to use, and I did do a little bit of backwards and forwards trying to figure that one out. As a result, there are some areas of the crest that I'm not entirely happy with. But in the end, I'm really happy with the way the yellow pops against the blue background, and I think that the crest really tells the story in the picture. And here is the final piece. I hope you've enjoyed watching this. Please feel free to leave a like or a comment and tell me what you think. And if you'd like to see what I do next, why not hit the big red subscribe button? And thanks for watching.